angles of elevation and depression part three yeah? so I've explained what it is we've done one example question we're going to do another one a typical question like this an airplane it says receives a signal from a point Z on the ground if the angle of depression of point Z from the airplane is 35 degrees and it's five kilometers away calculate the height the airplane is flying yeah so quickly I'm going to underline the important information yeah, so we have an airplane, I guess we can underline that, and a point Z, yeah, and the angle of depression, yeah, is 35 degrees, and it's also 5 kilometers away. Calculate the height, yeah, we have to calculate the height of the airplane is flying, yeah, which is the perpendicular height above the ground. Okay, now, like I said, you always make a sketch of this situation, yeah, so we have the ground yeah, let me just quickly sketch that. And on the ground, we have a point Z. So let's let's do that over here. Yeah. So that is point Z. All right. Let's continue. We also have an airplane um, in uh, in the air. Well, let's say that airplane is here. Okay. And then they say that the angle of depression. Yeah, of point Z from the airplane is 35 degrees. And now you have to be a little bit careful. Okay? Because we are trying to create those right angle triangles. Yeah? So as you can see, here we have now roughly a right angle triangle. But which angle now is that angle of depression, which angle is 35 degrees. Now, some of your friends, unfortunately, are gonna say, oh, this one is 35 degrees, yeah? That's from the airplane to point Z, and that is wrong, okay? Because an angle of depression is that angle below the horizontal. So, if we're talking about the angle of depression of point Z from the airplane, I'm gonna draw the horizontal here at the airplane, and then the angle of depression is this angle. Yeah? That angle equals to 55, sorry, 35 degrees. That's the angle of depression. So for this particular case, because I want to know, okay, what is the angle inside my triangle? Yeah, I could say so that one equals 90 minus 35, which indeed is 55 degrees, yeah, or perhaps with a Z angle, I could say, well, this one is 35 degrees. I leave that up to you, yeah, and they're five kilometers away, yeah, so the distance of the hypotenuse is five kilometers, yeah. What is the height of the airplane? So that is the question. Now, now again, it's an ordinary trigonometry question, yeah, but again, the mistake students make is that when they look at the angle of depression, when they are making their diagram, they say that this angle is 35 degrees. But you have to realize that the angle of depression is that angle below the horizontal. So you sketch the horizontal, yeah, and then you realize so this is 35 degrees, which makes this one 90 minus 35, which is 55 degrees. Okay, trigonometry, toa caso or so katoa, whatever you use, yeah, whichever book you've learned it from, tangent, opposite, adjacent, cosine, and the sine, that's the ratios, I'm standing in my angle, and if you, if you prefer, and sometimes I do actually, I, I turn it around, yeah, in my angle, because then I see I have the adjacent, and a hypotenuse, yeah, so adjacent hypotenuse, and which ratio is that adjacent hypotenuse, that's the cosine, fantastic. So the cosine of 55 degrees equals the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, yeah? So it's the cosine of 55 degrees, okay? Because my angle of depression is 35, so 55 degrees. I cannot emphasize enough upon how careful you have to be with angles of depression, mostly. Angles of elevation is a little bit more straightforward. Angles of depression, it's not difficult, but just draw it horizontal, like I said before. Okay, um, cosine of 55 degrees equals times 5F. I've rearranged the formula, and it says 
8678821822 and that correct to three significant figures would be 2.88 kilometers yeah because this was also five kilometers now why would it be wrong if I would got would have gotten an answer bigger than five so why would I know I made a mistake if this answer would be have been bigger than five yeah because I know that the hypotenuse is always the longest side eh? so I knew that my answer was going to be less than five 2.88 kilometers fantastic I trust that okay so angle of elevation and depression this is a typical question you can get I have one more example for you uh, which again involves an angle of depression I believe okay so I'll see you at part four